This is going to be a long way to ask a very specific question, but I want to make sure our listeners are aware. For those who don't know by now, you are an artist of color. I believe your father is from Grenada and he immigrated to Canada uh, after the U.S. invasion there in the 80s. Your album and a lot of the interviews I've watched or listened to with you bring needed awareness to the kind of uphill battle that black artists have in genres like country, bluegrass and beyond. Would you say this album is a clear stake in that ground or is it you telling your stories and part of your truth is just part of that journey? I would say it's probably both. Um, so that might be a little bit of a pageant answer, but I, I think it is both um, just in the way that uh, I think for, for my own mental health, I needed to decouple my writing and my artistic choices from the music business. Um, I think it was just becoming really hard for me. Like every time I wanted to make a musical choice or write a song about something immediately, I thought, well, how is this going to play? What audiences are going to like this? Is this going to be commercially viable? You know? And I think that those are good. Um, those are like good things to have in your, in your orbit for sure. But it just penetrated this like creative process. And it was just so difficult to come up with anything because it would just be so, um, like halting. Like I would write a verse and then just become too petrified of what it was or wasn't or could be or wouldn't be. Um, and so strange medicine was really just about setting that aside. And I think part of that, conversate that internal conversation is well like me as an artist of color like what do I have to represent what am I like as a banjo player you know like how how do I write something that's like that's accessible that people are going to understand you you know I think it's just you are you are I think it was an artist of color whatever your intersectional identities are sometimes you are playing 3d chess with yourself to try to figure out how people are going to interpret it and are they going to interpret it as like only you know like oh this is only a a, a you know a black liturgy a, a black album this is only this this is only that and and i think the the, the thing that i want to do as much as possible is is transcend you know those definitions through the art um and uh and so i sort of wanted it to be i wanted people to listen to it and go whoa, that's really different. I don't know where that belongs. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I also, you know, as a, as a, as a parallel, um, you know, results have to be okay with people not knowing where it goes. Yeah. You know, that's true. I love that answer. And I, I definitely feel like from my reflection on the album, it certainly fits there, uh, in that space of, I don't want to put a label on this. Um, you know, not just from a social standpoint, but also from a musical standpoint, you know, it's, it's got, uh, I think a, a depth to the songs have a, a depth to them that is not something that you can just say, oh, that's bluegrass or, oh, that's this or that it's that it's, it's a very cross genre experience. I think at least it was for me. Mm-hmm. 